Right, so uh, this talk is about how we can handle uh, all the OpenShell built-in functions uh, inside Clang uh, to make sure that any OpenShell program which is calling into built-in functions will actually be parsed uh, correctly by, by Clang itself. So to give you an idea of the, um, the built-in functions in Clang, uh, in uh, OpenShell, here's an example of a, a cosine built-in function. So it's defined for float. Uh, it's, got a, uh, it's taking an argument for uh, of float type and it's uh, returning a float as well. It's also defined for uh, double types and half types. Actually, these uh, half and double types are, are parts of extensions, so they need to be guarded by uh, as if defines. And then we also have all the vector overloads of, uh, uh, of all the different uh, data types. So you can see how this uh, quickly explodes, basically. Uh, now we have a lot of overloads already. And here's a few more functions, and this is just a fraction of all the available functions in OpenCL. Um, so what's, like, how do we deal with that? So currently we have like a big massive header file, which takes a couple seconds to parse. Um, that's really not great, uh, not a great solution. Um, the alternative uh, that we have looked at is like using pre headers, for example. Um, problem is that they are quite large, and they have the pre-compilation is, is done after pre-processing, so you lose all the hash safety finds and stuff like that. Um, so handling extensions is really not trivial. Um, then we tried looking into custom handling and semi-checking or CG built-in. Um, it's also not ideal because you need to, um, instead of having a list of declarations, you have some uh, magic code which will do the handling, and it's uh, far less, less trivial to uh, adjust and, and debug. So the current solution we are looking at, uh, or what, what this talk is about basically, is um, to handle them with table gen. So the idea is we have a, a nice and concise uh, table gen description, uh, a new client table gen backend, and then what, we do, what do we do with that? So we could um, define all the OpenCL built-ins at startup of, of uh, Clang. Well, that's probably ideal, because you're gonna uh, clutter the symbol table and um, it's gonna be slow to populate the symbol table at first. We could add all these, these built-in functions um, when, whenever our first lookup fails, so we can try to see if what, what were the symbol that we're currently um, not recognizing, if that's actually a built-in function by inserting all the built-in functions into the uh, symbol table. Um, it's better, but not ideal. So what we actually want to do is like only insert the, the built-in built functions that are uh, actually failing, uh, but only those with the, with the failed name, basically. Um, and that's the solution we are settling on. So, how does that uh, look like? So, this is an example of the table gen file. Here, you find the different table, the different data types, uh, guarded in extensions wherever needed. Um, then we combine these into some lists so that we have like the, the cross product, the Cartesian product of um, of the types and different factor sizes, for example. And then here we define the different. Uh, here we define some built-ins. Um, so here you see, uh, we actually defined three built-ins which have the same uh, function signature, so that's nice and compact. What does uh, Clang Table Gen do with that? Um, first of all, it's emitting a string matcher, um, which is a nice and uh, uh, efficient way to recognize the name and return some kind of magic value. Um, so in this case, if it recognizes the cosine function, the COS basically, it's gonna return magic number 731, which is an index into a table. Uh, generated by table gen. Um, so here you see the, um, the different uh, built-ins, basically. Um, so we are looking at entry 731, which is for the cosine, and actually it's, it's shared by many other built-in functions as well. Um, that entry has some information about the arguments, about extensions, um, uh, minimum, maximum version supported. Um, most importantly, it's, it's giving another pointer into a different table, which is uh, one for the 08, which is describing the signature. Uh, that is describing the, re the return type and the argument type. Um, and then the, the types are defined in a, yet another table. Um, so that's like really briefly how it's working. Um, current uh, implementation is being uh, trained, reviewed. Um, we're halfway there now, I think. Um, testing of this thing for completeness and correctness is an open challenge. And in the future, we might actually extend this to um, to handle other Clang built-ins as well. Um, and that's it. Thank you.